and schools have been warned not to let children spend too long in the sun, as what could be the longest heat wave in four years arrived over the weekend. Officials say children should avoid vigorous physical exercise in the heat. Well, joining us now is Gail Ems, Olympic badminton silver medalist, a mum of two, whose 12-year-old should have his sports day tomorrow. Now, Gail is desperate for sports day to go ahead. But there are questions about whether it is simply too hot. Also joining us is Busha Sheikh, a former apprentice star, business owner and mother of three, whose 11-year-old also has her sports day scheduled tomorrow. But I think Busha's not so keen on going. It's that parents' race, isn't it? You're thinking, <laughs> that parents I don't race, want to be yeah. the parents' race in the heat. Oh, I think we're all going to faint if, you know, in that 34 degrees, if that's what they're saying it is, right, tomorrow? Uh, yes, I mean, I know it's going to go to 33 today. It's going to get even hotter. Busha, you think that all schools should now cancel sports day because it's going to be unsafe and unhealthy. Oh, definitely. It's just far too hot. And we're not talking about 30 minutes in the sunshine. It's an entire day mm. and vigorous exercise, yes. Different, you know, different, different activities. It's just too hot for them. And I've, I've been there before and I've seen what kids are like in 21 and this is 10 degrees more. Gail, you are a professional sportswoman. I am, And yes. you say, don't take away sports day. No, <laughs> it's the one day that I remember. That first day of school, the first day of term, um, the, the school year, I wanted to know when school sports day was because that was my day. Mm. And it is really important for the sporty kids. Yes, it's going to be hot, but you can make adjustments. We can do compromises. And it's just, you know, we're not asking them to do a marathon in this heat. It's 100 metres. You know, it's a couple of minutes doing a race of some sort, whether, depending on primary school or secondary school, you know, it's not asking them to do an am lots of amount of exercise in that heat. And, it, you know... Except the warning is don't let children do vigorous exercise. I mean, they, it doesn't get much more vigorous than a sports day. But 100 metres, what's that? You know, it's not that much. And the kids, you know, they just want to get out and race and show off, especially the sporty kids, because, like, like I say, it's their day to shine. Cancel that. And for them, it, you know, maybe they might not win the maths prize of the year or they might not win the English or science prize. But for a sporty kid, this is their ultimate mm. time but to Gail, just really go It's home. sports day. Yes, it's not the it's sports thing. day. <laughs> it's, the it's not a big deal. For, <laughs> for, for a 12 year old, <laughs> or for, for me, it was my Olympics. It was my Olympics of the year. Yeah. It really meant so much to me yeah. to win that trophy for a school. You know, it. it you, hopefully you can tell the passion. I can, I can, I can see the... I, can see so like I a, know. Isn't, isn't this a classic example where the head teacher should decide? If they've got shelter, if they've got water, yeah. then it's fine. But if it's a half-hour walk to a big open playing field in the heat with no shade and yeah. no water, then maybe you shouldn't go ahead. But Common do sense. we need national yeah. guidance on this? It, it does mean, like, it feel like a bit common sense, you know, making sure the kids mm. are hydrated in, in the shade. And at my school, my son's school, have been very good on the email, said, look, you know, we've got air-conditioned classrooms as well, so just in case, you know, you know, it is about common sense, isn't it? Not putting them out in there but sure, all day. Can you, can you not just say, if you're worried, and clearly you have kind of medical advice on your side, if the advices don't uh, allow children to do vigorous exercise, can you not just withdraw your daughter from sports day? Yes, I think um, the teachers don't really want them to do that. You know, this is like a team sport. What they're trying sure. to kind of say is let's have this inclusive sports day and everyone, you know, can just enjoy the day. And if parents start opting their kids out, there's not very many kids So left. you want the head teacher to make an executive decision exactly. so that uh, yeah. individual children don't have to pull out themselves? Yeah, well, I would rather, like... It, for the kids that want to do it, you know, try and see. But I understand that, you know, there are concerns from, you know, certain children. But... You know, compromise, surely. Just go and cancel sports day. Even to do it a little bit earlier or, you know, sort of later on in the, in the school day, for instance. Something like that. Mm. You know, not necessarily in the 12 o'clock at lunchtime in the heat or something like that. It's just... Maybe this is one of those things where, with climate change, maybe we're going to start having exactly. sports days in, in the spring, in, 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 in April, <laughs> rather than in July. And then we'll probably years. moan about the, the rain or something like that. We'll yeah. be too cold or too wet or something like that, won't it? It'll well, we put it to the ultimate arbiter, and that is Twitter. <laughs> and uh, ran a poll asking, should school sports days be cancelled to keep children out of dangerous heat? And it is 51% <laughs> for yes, 
cancel. Actually, it's just gone down to 50.4%. Uh, oh. uh, oh. <laughs> and 49.6 of you say we don't need to cancel, so it's almost oh, wow. exactly 50-50. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think we should just be clear about one thing. I think the mums and dads, egg and spoon, <laughs> sack, sprint race, um, I think, Hopefully. you know... It should still go ahead? Shouldn't go ahead. Oh, it shouldn't go no. ahead. Are you, I mean, you know, do you have all bad these... memories, Ed? Is that what you I seem think... to be alluding to? The trouble is, you go <laughs> as a dad, and of course you've got to win. For the honour of And the even children. in normal heat, you're almost expiring at the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah. And you even know, in no heat, I was Make expiring. sure St yes. John's Ambulance is on site, no. yeah. I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Bushra and Gail, thank you thank very you. much. And good luck to your kids yeah. if, they, if it does go Hopefully. ahead tomorrow. <laughs>